Now the Spirit speaketh expressly, the Spirit means the Holy Spirit, that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. And so when a seducing spirit comes to speak a satanic doctrine to you, it's to get you to believe something to take you in a different direction. So when he's saying the Holy Spirit told me this is going to happen, that means that the Holy Spirit is the source that tells you whether it's a satanic doctrine or not. Just like a real military, there are secret weapons that you don't know about. And unless the Holy Spirit reveals them, you won't know about it. Because the Holy Spirit has clearance in areas where we don't. So he's going to take classified satanic information and give it to you so you know how to fight it. The satanic doctrine that we're all going to talk about tonight is the doctrine of accusation. A lot of you, you hear the lie and you just sit there. That's not what the Word of God says to do. The Word of God says you shall refute every tongue that rises against you in judgment. So if you're sitting there and taking it, you're agreeing with it. So I want everyone to say out loud, I refuse to accuse. And you're going to remember that. Ready? One, two, three. I, I refuse, refuse to, to accuse. accuse. Let's go to Revelation 12, verse 10 through 11. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength in the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto death. Because Satan is the accuser of God's people, not you and not me. And yet all of us have accused God's people. When we join Satan in his symphony of accusation against God's people, guess what? We're taking after him, not after our Father in heaven. And we need to be very careful because we're propagating his doctrine and not the Lord's. Right? We're like, I'm righteous, yet I'm accusing my brother who Jesus paid for. That's good. Jesus said in John 5, 19, he said, Very truly I tell you, the son can do nothing by himself. He can do only what he sees his father doing, because whatever the father does, the son also does. Who we imitate reveals who we belong to. Because Jesus said, I only do what I see my father doing. What do you think the children of Satan do then? They imitate. But who are they imitating? Their father. Their father's an accuser. My father's a redeemer. Right? If someone's in the world, guess what? Your accusation could stick because they're not under the blood. But how can your accusation stick when someone's under the blood? 